What's up guys? Welcome back to the Barefoot Garage on our Site B over at Retro Rentals. Today, we're finishing up the axle on the scam. Old and broken, new hotness. So this is our replacement axle. I'm gonna walk you through some of the differences in a modern axle that you can get from Scamp and a old school original axle and what some of the issues are. First thing being, this axle is totally seized. It is all the way in the up travel position. It has no down travel, it has no up travel. Basically the only suspension is the air in the tires. New axle, this is at a downward angle. It's hard to see on the camera here, but it travels downward compared to the plane of the trailer. It has both up and down travel, excellent. The next big upgrade here is out in the stubs. Breaking back pad, uh, breaking pad bolt-on is much nicer here and is a little bit more straight. The diameter of the axle shaft, the casting of the wheel flange, the fact that it has lug nuts and lug uh, bolts instead of these, these uh, lug stud or uh, lug bolt style. You can see the old one, the casting is just a lot thinner. The brake backing pad is not great. Um, and the axle diameter is not excellent either. But the huge upgrade is the beef in the leading arm here. This is almost double the width of my finger where this one is barely, if not even the width of my finger. And the last thing about the new axles that's a huge improvement is Scamp actually gives you a weld on plate now. So in the future for this customer, in the long, long, long time from now, when this axle needs to be refurbished again, it's a simple unbolt and replace kind of a process. So with the old axle, it was welded directly in place with no ability or provisions to be unbolted. You have to cut it as you saw we did. This axle, we will weld this plate in place, unbolt the axle, bolt the new one on, ready to go all the time. Last time, part one, right here we made sure that we got the old axle out we made some measurements and some marks on the frame we got the frame cleaned up we have our new axle cleaned up underneath here on our floor jack so what we're going to do is we're going to lift it up in place we're going to get it centered between those two marks the pad for the axle is actually about an inch longer on the new one than the old one so we'll have to center that up in our opening make sure that the center line of the axle still matches the center line mark we made up in the wheel well heel here we will make sure that the axle is square to the frame on both sides and it measures up nicely so that it is square to the entire chassis as it goes down the road. So let's go ahead and lift that up into place and I'll show you some of those measurements we're talking about. Here's what we've run into. This is the plate that's supposed to be welded on. There are two bolts for the axle. This bolt is too far forward to be able to slide the axle past our mark right here. And so unfortunately, I think that means we're gonna have to burn the plate to the axle and the, the plate to the camper on this older style. On the newer ones, it may be a possibility. Typically, we're working on a little bit older campers here. And so uh, we're gonna take that bolt out and get this thing right where it needs to be. And then we'll take a look if that's how it's gonna go down.
guys, that's a wrap on the axle replacement on your Scamp Camper. Thanks so much to Retro Owners for giving us a chance to come out and flex some welding skills and get some practice in. Uh, if you have questions about this project specifically, drop us a comment, let us know what you're working on. And if you have other camper questions, Retro Owners, how do we get in touch? Right, you can reach out to us on Instagram or on Facebook. We're always looking for uh, Scamp or Camper projects. If you have any questions about your project during a uh, camper, be happy to reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you out. As always, don't forget to stay tuned to the Barefoot Garage Between episodes on Instagram at Barefoot Garage Jacks. See you next time. We could have our own show.